What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Deacon Storm here. We're about to get started in a few. We have a couple of uh, couple of ceremonial duties that need to be performed here as we are getting set and ready to say goodbye to three of the sophomores. This is the final game of the season as the CCBC Dundalk Lions taking on the Garrett College Lakers. We need to get started with that. But there are a couple of things that we need to get through first. Like I said, uh, we're going to be saying goodbye here the last games for jordan foster the sophomore guard from baltimore maryland we oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Assistant Coach Daryl Perry. 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our sophomores and assistant coaches. All right, it's the team's uh, lineup for our team photo with their coaches. Uh, congratulations to everyone out there on the court. We are going to have the uh, national anthem pretty soon. We're going to mute again once that happens. Congratulations to our sophomores and assistant coaches. All right. And uh, everyone's going to be the Some quick reminders. Restrooms are located through the appropriate locker rooms on the second level of the building. When they get to the uh, anthem, we'll come back once it's over and the starting five is announced. This is Deacon Storm, and we'll be right back with more NJ excuse me, NJC AA basketball action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Deacon Storm here once again. We're going to get to the starting five for both teams, and we're going to get this contest underway. Uh, once again, if you're just joining us, we did have a ceremony uh, sending off three of the sophomores that are going to be graduating at the end of this year, Jordan Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, before we meet the starting lineups and coaches for this afternoon's game, we want to welcome Dr. Joaquin Martin, the Vice President and Provost of CCBC. He is going to have a special free throw for us before the game. 
Yep, Vice President of CCBC going to the charity stripe and giving, giving his all. I tell you what, based off that dribble, definitely looks like he's uh, going to sink this bad boy in. Oh, back of the rim. Always gives you a little bit of mistreatment. Almost happened. Thank you very much for joining us. Looks like he's ready to suit up. And speaking of which, we're about to get this game underway. Starting at guard number four, Ron Smith. Starting at guard number 10, Martin Thompson. Starting at forward number five, Anthony Crosby. And starting at forward number 20, Matthew Wheeler. <laughs> the assistant coaches good work, are good work, sir. DJ Ritchie and Jeff Hoffman. And help me in welcoming head coach Matthew McCullough. Please welcome the visitors from Garrett. Now for homestanding Dundalk. Starting in guard number five, Jordan Foster. Jordan Foster, guard, his last game today. Tyrone Bethea. Tyrone Bethea, also in that list. Team, Tyler Hawkins. Starting at forward number 21, Chuck Adlaka. And starting at guard number 24, Jackson Henry. The assistant coaches for Dundalk, Gus Berg Jr., Daryl Perry, and Lynn Smack. And the head coaches, Myron King. Please welcome homestanding Dundalk. All right, and here we go. The starting five has been announced. And we're getting underway. The Garrett will be in the New Jersey State. Trying to get uh, started here. And I'm going to be flying solo with you guys on the final game of the season. There you go. See if I can get some more sound in here for you guys. That should help. Okay. Tip off, and Garrett's going to get their hands on it. And we're going to start today's contest. Lions coming into this 7-20 overall. 11th place, so they're not going to the playoffs. But here we go, starting with a three-pointer. Hits the side of the rim. Grabbed by Jordan Foster. Oh, a little bit sloppy on the pass there. Lions currently on a six-game losing streak. Hoping to break that before the end of the season. Corey Mitchum stepped up like he was going to go for the three, but passed it off instead. Another three-point attempt, just straight air ball, and that is Rob Smith. Freshman guard from Charlottesville, Virginia. Coming up, and thank you all for joining us here. It's uh, depending on where you are, it could be a beautiful Saturday or a cold and snowy one. We just hope everyone's staying safe. Inbound pass, Tyler Hawkins lost it. And that's going to be a foul. Actually. Number 10, Thompson, like it was a reach in. It was uh, called on Markin Thompson, the freshman guard from Loganville, Georgia. Inbound pass once again. I heard him get that off. Jackson Henry gets his hands on it. Very close to the baseline, though. And now double coverage, pass it out to Jordan Foster. Foster running up behind his, his opposition. It goes in, then it goes back out into the hands of the Lions once again. Passed out to Hawkins. Hawkins driving up in the paint, back out to Foster. He drives up again. This time it goes in, it is good. Jordan Foster for two, putting the first points on the board here. A minute and a, I'm oh, sorry, two minutes and Three-point attempt once again, bounces up, goes high into the hands of Jackson Henry for the rebound. For Foster, making his way over, he drives in again, passes it back out to Hawkins, who steps up with a two-point shot, goes in and out, rebound, grab, not quite, doesn't go in. 
as Aduaka on the try after getting that rebound. Here on the other end, Lakers driving inward. Steps up, no good. Too many uh, players in front of him. And starting to drive up Jordan Foster, his last game with CCBC. Passing it out to Hawkins, who gives it to Henry. Henry for the long three. Hits the back of the rim, right in the corner, bounces up high into the Lakers. Rebound. Passes it back out. Decides to drive up. Swings it over, three-point attempt, up in and good. Lakers take the uh, Lakers take the lead here by one point. Low scoring game so far. Foster. Has it down here, 7-27 left in the first half. Not too many stoppages in play. Foster trying to run point. He's got Aduaka. Trying to set up a, whoa, look at that. Up, over, good. Jordan Foster. Scoring the only points on the team so far. Three minutes into the game. 4-3 is your score. Lions take the lead back. Drives in, does he get the, oh, wow, it's good. Rob Smith getting the and one after driving all the way up. With the one-handed look. Rules stay the same. This is the last game first. of the season. So if you're in here, you're hanging out. Thanks for staying. Eagle, if you haven't done so yet, five. like, follow, subscribe. And if you have done all of those, make sure you click that bell so you can get all the uh, notifications for CCBC Dundalk. Because baseball season starts tomorrow. I'll get you a little bit more information on that later on. And completes the three-point play. Six to four is the score. 16-56 here. Jordan Foster passing it all the way out. Miko Arnold finds his way in. Jackson Henry drives up. He's got a lot of people, but he is able to get the floater off, but it does not go in. Had to watch his back. Lakers uh, on their way down. Passes over the inside. He goes to the hoop. And it bounces his way for two. Anthony Crosby getting on the board. Red-shirted sophomore out of Woodbridge, Virginia. The 6-8 forward for the Lakers. A little bit of a trap set up there for Jackson Henry, but Hawkins gets it. I'm sorry, not Hawkins. Uh, yeah, Hawkins. Sorry about that. Foster in between the circles trying to get Arnold pulled up. Get him in position here. Seven left on the shot clock. Foster still deciding to drive up. Trying to get closer, and he does. Up in the air, bounces in and out. Foster on the miss. Score remains the same, eight to four. Nice inside pass in the dunk. Corey Mitchum with the assist. And Markeen Thompson with the jam. Nice little underneath pass in the paint there. Sorry, not Marquise Thompson. That was uh, the right wheel. Foster down here on the other end. Tried to, oh, looks like it bounced between his legs and gets possession. Miko Arnold has it for three. Misses it. But Lions get it back. Miko Arnold has to watch his back. Driving in, looks like we may have a bit of a travel from Tyron Bethea. We got some substitutions in. Xavier Mayo in. For Dundalk. Pass it over to Wheeler. Wheeler faked him out. Went for it. Got the lay in. And the and one. Had a little bit of a fake out and smoothed his way to the basket to uh, increase the score of the Lakers. Of Garrett College here in Maryland. Coming in with an 18 and 11 overall record. So the Lions were definitely going to have their work cut out for them today. And Arnold trying to find a way, and he does. Three point attempt. 
Hits the inside of the rim, but it doesn't go for Xavier Mayo. Driving back down, Thompson. Passing it over to Mitchum. He's trying to run, pay, uh, run point. Hawkins guarding him. Back to Thompson, who gives it off to Smith. Thompson underneath. Gives it to Crosby, who gets close and just puts it right in. It's another two points for Anthony Crosby. Wait a second. Looks like there was a timeout called by the Lions and 14-18 left here in the first half. And the Lions definitely needed that break. It's 30-second timeout. So if you are in the chat, don't forget we are doing shout-outs. It's the final game of the basketball season. No Jimmy Flame, just Duke and Storm here. Running point with commentary. So if you want to leave shout-outs, got any comments, want to support your favorite players, whether it be for the Lions or the Lakers, you can just go ahead and put something in there, and uh, I'll read it off. I'm literally monitoring the chat right now. Lions, six straight losses coming into this game. Only having a positive record when they're playing on a neutral, a neutral court, which is 2-1. But 720 overall. Seven uh, wins, 20 losses. All right, Miko Arnold passing it to Foster. Foster back to Arnold. Being sized up by Mitchum. Arnold passing it off to Mayo. Gives it back to Foster. Mitchum on Foster now. Foster just goes for the three. And that's a good bounce for him. Seven points, and Jordan Foster still remains the only Lion that has scored. 15 seconds to score. On the other end, Wheeler passing it out. And a second. Got to travel. Travel being called on the Lakers here. Rob Smith, the offender. Inbound pass. Miko Arnold got his hands on it. A little bit of a mismatch here is Wheeler on Arnold. Passing it back to Mayo. This one's a little more natural size-wise. Oh! And travel anyway, even though it was smacked out of his hands. Mayo standing at 6'5", Wheeler at 6'7", coming out of Danville, Virginia. Long pass down to the paint. Takes it back, though. Wheeler fakes the three, goes underneath, doesn't get the shot to go, passes it back out, saves the ball, shot clock at 15. Driving up to the paint, going back on the outside, pulling up jumper. Gives it to Heathington, coming off the bench and scoring, and it's good. Coming out of Snellville, uh, Georgia. They're driving their way down. Dave Thomas has his hands up. Passes it back to Nico Arnold. Jordan Foster still remaining the only scoring player on the Lions squad here with 12.37 left. Oh, got it smacked out of his hands, passes it back. Dave Thomas goes for the desperation three, hits the back of the rim, slides off right into the hands of the Lakers. Big pass over, not able to get his hands on it. That is Rob Smith trying to get his, uh, trying to get his hands on that pass, but that goes out. It's going to be Lions ball, and uh, everyone resetting here. 7-17 your score, 12-19 the time. Giving it up for the sophomores of the Lions today, Jordan Foster, Tyron Bethea, and uh, Aduwaka. They play their final games here in the final game of the Lions season. Jordan Foster sizing up his opponents, trying to find an open outlet. But just completely loses it, and it's going to stay down here. A little bit of an argument from Nathaniel Washington, the freshman guard out of LaVale, Maryland. And Miko Arnold 
on the bounce pass. Not the bounce pass, excuse me, the inbound. Out to Foster, picks it up, not able to get around it though. Foster still drives in, passes out on the outside and that shot clock goes down to zero. See you all out in the chat. I'll shout you out in a little bit. Keep those comments coming, however. See comments from Soccer Mom, Diamond. Keep it coming. All right, down here on the other end. Wheeler passing it off. Gets it back. Cameron Heatington passing it back to Wheeler. Wheeler driving up, steps back for the fadeaway jumper. Nothing but air right into the hands of the Lions. 11.20 left here on the clock. 7.17 is your score. Jordan Foster driving up, almost got smacked out of his hands, but passes it back. Floater from Jackson Henry, doesn't go. Gonna be a little bit of a contact, and he was uh, on the way up with the shot, so that means he's going to the foul line. Both teams keeping the fouls pretty low. This is only the second foul on the Lakers, and the Lions themselves only have two. And that one does not go. Jackson Henry goes for that second one. That one goes in. That's good. 8-17. Finally, halfway through the first half, Jordan Foster's not the only Lion that has points on the board. Whoa, big block! But the ball still goes in anyway. A big block from the Lions. Foster drives in, tries to get all the way. Some contact. Let's see who that one's going to be called on. All right, looks like that's actually called on uh, Wheeler. Wasn't making a shot, so no going to the line, but... Inbound pass, 21 seconds left in the shot clock. Arnold got his hands on it. Being sized up by Washington. Pass it back over, floater does not go in. Lakers get the rebound, that was Jackson Henry on the miss. Wheeler driving all the way in. Underneath pass, tried to get the ball up. Travel, no foul. 8-19 the score here, Lions trailing. By 11, 10.29 in the first half. For a while, Jordan Foster was the only uh, Lion that had points on the board, but then there was a foul, made a foul shot from uh, Jackson Henry, and there's your score. 13 left on the shot clock. Foster decides to go for it anyway, gets it in, it's good. Jordan Foster with nine of the 10 points Scored by the Lions so far. A little bit of a shimmy. Passes it back off. Bojanski almost got it. Looks like he has a little bit of a contact. Something in his eye, it looks like. But Arnold got his ball back on the uh, other end. Foster with the long three. Almost gets it in. No good. Looked like it had a chance, but it did not. Heatington carried it down, passing it off. Adams who gives it back to Wheatley. He beat the coverage there. Passes it back off. Three pointer. That is good. Cameron Heathington. He's got seven points so far in the day. 10 22 should score with 9 15 left here in the first half. Jackson Henry pulling up. Tried to get a bounce pass underneath. Hook shot. A little bit too much on it. Hits the back of the rim, bounces back out. That was Tyron Bethea, the sophomore, on the attempt. Pull up jumper, same place. Back of the rim, bounces back out into the Lions' hands. Miko Arnold driving it up. 8.52 left here on the clock. Foster gets it. He was going to drive, but his foot kind of dragged a little bit, and that's going to be the travel that gets called. And that's going to be Lakers ball. 10 to 22, Let's score. Is your score. 8.46 left here in the first half. Check one, two, check one, two. Guess we had a little bit of a mic issue, which is why our scores weren't being called over the PA, but I think we're good. Underneath, backing them down. 
How? Heathington putting some more points on the board. Nine points for him. Foster between the circles, trying to direct traffic here. He's got a pick set up by Bethea, and on the other side, Henry. Foster drives up, back out for three, and it goes right in. Nothing but net. Tyler Hawkins with Foster on the assist. 13-24, and the Lions are going to need a lot more of those. Backing up Crosby, almost lost it in the pass, but Crosby gets it back underneath, tried to put it up under, it gets hit, and that's going to stay down here with the Lakers. Garrett College Lakers. We're going to get the inbound pass from Nathaniel Washington, the freshman guard out of LaVille, Maryland. And there was definitely some contact. We heard it. Ca called on Tyron Bethea. And that's going to send. That's going to send Anthony Crosby to the line. And this is his first trip. Looking to increase that lead. And that's it. Crosby makes the first shoots one more. And Crosby gonna try to get that second one, but unable to. So he scores 13-25. Jackson Henry making his way up to the rim, puts it high, kisses it off the glass, and it is good. For his first two points, his first field goal of the game, he already had one point from a free throw. Pop-up jumper at the charity stripe, doesn't go. And we got some contact, off ball. Getting called. We have a technical on Garrett's number 11, Antonio Adams. Well, got a technical call. I didn't see it, but either way, that's going to send Xavier Mayo to the line for the first time. And it's in. Not really sure what happened there. That was, uh, it definitely happened off ball towards half court though. Diamond showing her support for Z, uh, excuse me, Tyler Hawkins. Home says Z, man. All right, Arnold in front, oh, with the steal, saves it. And it, even though Foster got his hands on it, it nipped the back of the backboard on the way over. And that gets called out. So uh, it's like they're going to have to be a little bit closer on their pass. Oh, sorry, careful. A little bit more careful on their passes to make sure that doesn't happen again. 16 to 25 is the score. A little bit more manageable when you're under double digits. Under a double digit deficit, but here we are. Lions once again saying goodbye to three of their sophomores, three of their leaders today Tyron Bethea, Adewaka, Jordan Foster. Speaking of Foster, he's got the ball, gets past, gets past Washington, met with double team, pass it underneath. Whoa! He went for it, got the rebound. Lions got it back on the offensive side. Mayo trying to get up under. A little bit too much. Doesn't get any contact with the backboard like I'm sure he was hoping. Washington out to Heathington. Heathington went for the bounce. There was a little bit of contact from Mayo, and the Lions get it. Nico Arnold credited for the steal. Pass it out to Henry underneath to Hawkins. Gets it. An exciting sequence. The Lions are going to need some more of that. 18 25 to score. Looks a lot better than it did earlier. Double team. On Marquine Thompson. Gives it back to uh, Washington. Underneath quick passes from the Lakers. Desperation three. Hits the front of the rim. They got the rebound, though. 
Backwards in, Anthony Crosby for two. He's got six points, six foot eight. Red shirt is sophomore out of Woodbridge, Virginia. 18-27 the score, 5.50 left on the clock. And got a little bit of contact. Team's not in the bonus yet, so no one's seeing that, uh, that free throw line unless they're going for the score. And the Lakers sub out almost an entire team's worth of people. As four men make their way on. You got Corey Mitchum, Nathaniel Washington. He's still out there. Anthony Crosby is back out there. Ralph Smith back out there. Lions got it. Pop-up jumper. Foster for two. Basket, number five, 11 Foster. points so far today, Jordan Foster. They're down here on the other end. Wheeler passing it back over to Mitchum. They get rid of it. A little bit closer to the rim. Back to Wheeler, he goes underneath, does not get it, but he's got the rebound, which is not too much of a shot. Puts it back up for two. Down here on the other end, Henry gets it for the pop-up, long three, no good. Now here on the fast break, Wheeler makes his way down for the land. And that's gonna be a timeout for the Lions. That was a quick, Six points scored. Full Quick six Rudy points scored time. by the Lakers. Timeout called by the Lions. And we'll be right back as we have this extended timeout. Take a break. Put those comments in the chat. I'm Deacon Storm, and I'll be right back. All right, Deacon Storm here coming out of the timeout. Lions taking on the Lakers of Garrett College. Scores 31 to 20. Lions trailing here with 5.02 left here in the first half. And here we go with the inbound. Miko. Got it back to Foster. Last game today. And he's trapped over the corner. Gets it out. Passing it over to Mayo. They're trying to get across half court with the full court press, and they got it. 15 left on the shot clock. Arnold weighing his options. Giving it over to Mayo. Mayo to Hawkins. Hawkins drives up but loses it. And that's going to be a steal credited to Anthony Crosby. Wheeler faking the three-pointer once again. Bounce pass over. Lions were almost able to get it, but that swing pass is something lethal. Driving in, pass back out for the three-point attempt. Skirts off, but Wheeler gets the rebound. Big dunk! Anthony Crosby adds another two points to his uh, tally. 33-20, the score here. Four minutes left in the first half. And the Lions got their work cut out for them. Haven't had a lead since the first minute of this game. And they are going to need it. Foster pulling up. Guarded by Mitchell. Pick starting to get set up. But Thea and Hawkins helping with that. Four in the shot clock. Foster drives up. Ball in the air. Let's see what the call is. 
call is on. Gary found number 20, yep. Gary Wheeler, his second team step. Wheeler, call for the foul, so that means Foster's going to the line. 334 left here on the board. It's not bad. Foster drawing that foul. We need to get his team some easy points. And this is Foster's first time to the line. In and out. Substitutions made. Wheeler out. Bonjanski in. Cassius Bonjanski, he is the freshman forward out of the Netherlands. I believe that's pronounced Almir. Balls up and in. Jordan Foster makes one out of two for Nunnock. All right. Garrett College on the way down. It's Mitchum to Washington. Washington, pass it underneath. Got a half court press going on down there. Lots of man to man, but that leaves a man open for three. He doesn't land it, but he gets his own rebound, loses it, gets it back. And there's a lot of fighting for that ball. But Nathaniel Washington oh, showing that hustle. And uh, neither team still in the bonus yet here as the first half is almost over, which I can't remember the last time that happened in the Lions game. Inbound pass. Mitchum to Washington, back to Mitchum. All the way over to Rob Smith on the inside, though. Does he get? Nope, he does not. Let's see what it is. Yep, that is a... Number Elson Berhanu. Elson called for the foul. The seven foot one freshman out of Edgewood. Sends it to the line. He misses his first one. Crosby shoots one more. He is one for three from the line, Anthony Crosby, so far today. Xavier Mayo up at the line. And that's it. So two for four, Anthony Crosby. 10 points today, so far. Don't forget to leave those uh, shout outs. I see them in the chat, I'll read them off uh, after the first half is over, before we go to halftime. Foster driving up, 17 on the shot clock, passes it over, Mayo for three, doesn't get it. Mitchum on the way down, guarded by Hawkins. Three point attempt. He had time to think about it. He had time to cook dinner. He was wide open. He also had time to eat it. That was a large three-pointer from Rob Smith, separating the two teams. 37-21 is your score with 2.18 left. Foster getting to the point, the paint, driving up, not able to land it, but he is going back to the line. Corey Mitchell didn't call for the foul. And the fouls are starting to rack up here towards the end. Foster going back to the line for the second time so far today. Foster, the team's leading scorer. 12 points so far. 12 of the 21. Balls up. And in. Foster makes the first shoes one. Yep, going to be reading out those shout outs right before halftime. I see all of you. And, uh,. Get to it. Foster going back up again. Boom. Lands it. 23 37 to score. 14 points separating the two men, but we still got another half, the two teams, uh, but we still have another half coming. Lakers down here on the other end. Rob Smith driving up, and he actually gets that one in, fights through. The double team puts two more points on his tally. The 23 39 score. Jackson Henry driving all the way up, gets the floater, gets close enough where he doesn't even have to think about it. And he puts two on the board for the Lions. 142 left here in the first half. Mitchell making his way down, passing over to Rob Smith. Back to Mitchell. All the way over to Heavington. As he drives up, he got three men on him. Underneath is the whole team was there. 
Tried to get the dunk, and let's see what the call is. I imagine Heatington is going back to the line, and yeah, that's what's, that's what's happened. Burhanu once again called for the foul. Hasn't really been in that long. He's already got two fouls altogether. Doesn't get it. This was actually his uh, first time in the line. Cameron Heatington, the freshman guard out of Snellville, Georgia. Standing at six foot five. Boom. Heatington makes one out of two for 40-25, your score, 15 points separating the two teams. Lions are going into the half, I'm sure, trailing. They got a lot to discuss in the locker room. I know a lot of these, a lot of these seniors are got the last game on their mind, probably. Jordan, Jordan Foster is playing his heart out. Underneath pass! And Elson Perhanu putting a little stank on it with under a minute to go here in the first half. Mitchum passing it underneath. But he gets it back. He goes for three. His first three-point attempt goes in between the legs of Perhanu. Trying to get that rebound. Back into the hands of the Lakers. And there's a foul call. And that's going to be Foster on it. And team ends in the bonus, so Lakers going to the line. It's going to be Cassius Wojanski. Bonjaski. Up. And out. Last touch by, oh, the Lions. Looked like from here was last touch by uh, the Lakers, but the Lions got their hands on it. And there was a timeout call. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout with 31 seconds left here on the clock. Score is 40-27, Lakers in the lead. And uh, it's a pretty decent crowd here for the final game for three of our sophomores. They've got their flowers literally before the game started. Jordan Foster, six foot two sophomore out of Baltimore, Maryland. Tyron Bethea, the uh, six foot five sophomore out of Baltimore. Chuck Woomer, Aduaka, 6'2 sophomore out of Edgewood. Lions kind of getting themselves in position. All right, getting ready for the inbound pass. Mitch him all the way out to the three-point line. Give it to Bonjeski. And hand it back to Mitchum. 12 on the shot clock. He's like, they're going to run time out here, but he doesn't have till the end of the half. Three on the shot clock. Got to hurry up and shoot that. He goes to the rim. No good. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds left. Foster. Got his hands on it. Over to Mayo. Mayo just goes for the three, heaves it up, and that's going to be it. And that ball goes all the way out. All right, that is the first half score, 40-27. Lakers in the lead. Jordan Foster, he is the leading scorer for the Lions here. He's got 14 points, 14 of the 27. But other people on the, the uh, Lions team are going to have to score if they want to have a, even a chance here. Uh, but the Lakers, they're firing on all cylinders, especially, especially uh, Anthony Crosby, Cameron Heathington, uh, Narek Wheeler. They're all, they're all putting in multiple baskets here, but we're going into the half. Leave those shout outs. We're going to read them off. What we got here so far is Soccer Mom, uh, XOXO Twitch. She's uh, cheering for her favorite player. That would be Miko Arnold. We got some, uh, we got some cheers in the chat for Tyler Hawkins and, uh, and uh, Morris, Morris, I believe, I think. Um, and uh, we got Christina all the way from Darlington, South Carolina. 
putting some uh, putting some love in the chat for Tyler Hawkins. But once again, your score, 40-27. we got about 15 minutes left, and uh, I will see you in the next few minutes. Don't forget, leave those uh, shout-outs in the chat. And uh, if you have not already, like, follow, subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you uh, click that bell so you know when our games are starting because baseball season is starting tomorrow. So uh, I am Deacon Storm, and I will be right back for the start of the second half.
All right, fans, fans, welcome back to the second half. Lions taking on Lions taking on the Lakers of Garrett County. Garrett College, excuse me. Three pointer up, no good. Lakers get the rebound. Tried to kiss it off the glass, but foul called anyway. Lions already starting this game with, uh, or this this half, sending another player to the line. That one's good. This is Rob Smith's uh, first time up at the line. Or second, I should say. All right, that one's in. So far, three for three from the line. And Foster, who is playing his last game with CCBC, gets the inbound pass here at the start of the second half. Being guarded by uh, Mitchum. Foster tried to drive up to the paint, but lost control of it. A little bit of a foul there. Going to remain Lions ball. Lions came into this uh, seven and twenty. Is their record overall? Here their final uh, game. It looks like uh, Foster's a little banged up on the knee there. So he kind of limps back to the uh, limps back to the to the bench. Pull up jumper doesn't go, but Brahanu is able to get his hands on the rebound. Pulling up Mayo not able to get it in. Mayo still fighting for it. No foul called. Wheeler making his way down. Big three-point attempt. Does not go. That was Marquine Thompson on the try. Miko Arnold, and he took too many steps. Yeah, carried. He got it and carried the ball, which is illegal. Resulting in the Lakers getting the ball back here. 18-46 left in the game. 29-42 is the score. It's not unmanageable, but the Lions got a lot of work to do to get back in the game here. Lots of swinging around, which the uh, Lakers have been good up, good at. Decided to go for three instead. Burhanu with the rebound. Burhanu finally letting his height show here. Mayo won the three attempt. Doesn't hit, but Burhanu fought for the rebounds going to the Lakers side after both men crumbled to the ground. Coach ain't happy about that. Coach is on the court. Byron King, his first year here with the Lions. Hoping to finish 8-20 and 20 with the result of this game on the overall record. Underneath pass, nobody there. Wheeler, who has been causing a lot of problems for the Lions today, was somehow just left alone underneath the rim. Able to slam that in completely uncontested. 44-29 is the score. And Hawkins has it here right at the top of the key. Passing it over to Mayo. Back to Hawkins. Hawkins drove up but stopped himself. Passing it back to Miko Arnold. Arnold setting up. Pull up jumper. No good right when the shot clock was about to run out. Fast break down here on the other end. Lakers pass it back out. Wheeler over for the three-pointer. Passing it to Thompson. Lakers get it back underneath. Gets it smacked out by Hawkins. Lions have the ball. 17.08 left here. Miko Arnold stopped up. Right here at the corner, the top corner. Passes it over. Bethea drives in back to Arnold. Arnold goes for three, does not go in. 
Knicks goes into the hands of Mitchell. Lakers, fast break on the way down. A little bit too much mustard on that one for Rob Smith, but the Lakers got it back, and the Lions finally are able to scoop it up. 16-38 left here in the game. Mayo gets it, passes it back over to Arnold. And the Lions have been trailing this game almost since the second minute, second or third minute of this game. Mayo for the three-point attempt. Doesn't go. Hits the front of the rim. Mitchum grabs the rebound. Drive down the fast break. Underneath. Nice bounce pass over, over to Rob Smith. And that's going to result in a timeout being called by the Lions. Let's see how long this one is. 46-29, your score here. Lions still trailing. And this is a full timeout. Taken by uh, Coach Byron King. So the Lions still have a little bit of work ahead of them. 46-29, your score here. And uh, we will be right back at the close of this timeout. Keep leaving those comments in the chat. I'll read them off loud, out loud uh, once I see them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Deacon Storm here back with this NJCAA basketball contest with the Lions of Dundalk taking on the Lakers of Garrett College. Scores 46-29 here with 16 minutes left in the, in the game. Foster driving up underneath, passes it under. Hawkins up for the pop-up jumper, does not go in. And struggle over the ball. Ends in a foul against... Uh, Out of Walker. All right. Lakers trying to get down the court without getting the ball stolen by the Lions, but they make it. Marquine Thompson gives it over to Mitchum. Mitchum directing people, and the Lions get it. Nope. They're able to tip it, but can't get their hands on it. Steps up, goes to the rim. Whistle called, and guess what? That's on the Lakers. Charge called. Have Heathington called on the charge, and it is Lions ball. It's good for Lions to finally put themselves in position of that nature, considering how much Garrett has been going to the paint. Spin around, doesn't go. Got a spin around jumper it was Hawkins on the miss. Mitchum passing it underneath to Rob Smith. Going back on the drive up, and that's going to go. Markin Thompson, freshman guard from Loganville, uh, Georgia. Called on that foul, and he's going to go to the line. Up in and good. Lions making their way down. Jackson Henry, he's just going to take it all the way to the hole, and it goes in. It is good. Jackson Henry, the, Henry, the six foot three freshman out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland. 
Mitchum running point between the circles here. A little bit of zone played up underneath. And three-point attempt. And he's down. Looks like there may have been a foul on that. He missed the three-pointer. But if he's going to the line, he's going to get three shots. All right, and Cam Heathington going to the line. Six foot five uh, freshman out of Snellville, Georgia. Drains that first one. So far, two for three from the uh, from the line. Doesn't get that one. While I have your attention, tomorrow, doubleheader with Lions Baseball. Drains that last one. Lions Baseball doubleheader tomorrow, starting at noon, taking on uh, Bergen. First game at 12, and then second game uh, tentatively at 2.30. But sometimes the games go long, sometimes they go shorter. Jordan Foster. Dribbles gets his way up, doesn't go in. After Foster gone, had gone into the paint. Mitchum has it back on the other end. Long pass underneath. Once again, man left by himself. Puts it right in. Anthony Crosby. His first points of the half. He's got 13 so far. Big long three. Goes right in. Jackson Henry draining his first three of the day. 34-53 is your score. They're going to need a bunch of those. Bounce pass down. Heathington has his hands on it. Pull up. Stopped. Man. Got with the cross up. Step back with the fadeaway. Gets it right in. Jackson Henry once again with the three. That's an air ball, though. Burhanu gets the rebound. Passes it back out to Arnold. Arnold to Foster. Foster driving in, trying to get some uh, points on the board again. He does. It's another two points for Jordan Foster. Underneath, tries to go for the dunk. Let's see what the call is. Yep. That call's going to go against the Lions. Going to go against Tyler Hawkins. And Rob Smith going to the line. This is his third time to the line today. Up, in, and good. Smith with 13 points so far. And it's in. 13 minutes left here in the game. 57-36, 19-point deficit. Jordan Foster, pop up two, doesn't go. Hits the front of the rim. Lakers got the rebound. Mitchum driving in, passing it back out underneath. And not able to get it. Burhanu fight for the rebound, gets it. Whoa, almost lost that. Jackson Henry gets it. That time he does lose it. And sequence completed. Unfortunately, the ball did go out of bounds before it could be pushed back in. Either way, that ball was going right in the hands of Jackson Henry. He was going to put it right back up. Substitutions being made. Hawkins is out. I did not see who came in for him. Arnold, inbound pass over to Foster. 36-57, your score. Foster stopped. Does he get it? He gets it to go. Tyron Bethea also having his final game with CCBC today. Puts two points up. He's only got four on the day so far. Oh, Cotton. That floor is very slippery. Underneath a little bit too much juice on it. Rebound grab by the Lions. Jordan Foster stops at the three point line. Decides to take it himself, and he goes in for two. Yet another two points for Jordan Foster playing his final game with CCBC. 
today. Lakers taking advantage of that slippery four. Pass underneath, back out to Mitchum, who goes for three, gets it. That is Corey Mitchum's first points of the day. And what a statement he made with that three. 20 points separating the two teams. 60 to 40 is your score. Jordan Foster playing his final game as a Lion in the final game of the season for CCBC. Looks like there may have been some contact there. Foul called on uh, Markin Thompson. Team's not in the bonus yet, so just going to have an inbound pass from Miko. Miko to Henry. Henry pulls up, stops, gets the jumper, does not get the rebound. Lakers do. On the fast break. Wow. He winded that one back, tried to get the dunk. Didn't go, was blocked. Followed up by another uh, dunk attempt, which was missed. But Jordan Foster was not allowing that to happen in his house. He fouled him, sent him to the line instead. That is Antonio Adams. In and out. Yep, Mayo is in for Foster. And it's in. Adams is one for two from the free throw line today. An inbound pass from Henry to Arnold. 10.50 left here in the game. Pick being set up by Burhanu. Three-point attempt after swinging it around. Lakers get their hands on the ball after the miss. 21 points separating the two teams. Long pass, gets one underneath. Back out, three-point attempt. In and out, but Lakers get that offensive rebound. And Burhanu underneath to grab it. Mayo very intelligently having some patience on the pass there since he was surrounded. Mayo drives up underneath the Henry. Turnaround jumper does not go in. Kisses the top of the front of the rim. And a little bit of contact there. That's going to send. They're in the bonus now. We're going to have Nyrek Wheeler come to the line. He's been a troublemaker for the Lions today. And is not able to get the first shot down, so he doesn't get the second one. Henry starting to drive up, passing it back out to Mayo. Mayo over to Arnold. Back to Mayo. Back to Henry. Henry for three. Count it. It's Jackson Henry's second three of the day. 43-61 your score. 9-33 left here in the first half. Down here on the other end, Lakers got it. Wheeler passing it over. Interesting uh, inside bounce pass, but uh, caught him jumping, does not go in. That was Heathington on the attempt. Arnold on his way back down. Passes to Henry. Henry for three. Goes in. And Jackson Henry, the six foot three freshman, just made the Lakers finally call a timeout. 909 left here in the game, and the Lions got a little bit of life in them. Thanks to Jackson Henry. They're gonna need a bunch more of those threes, though. They can get their hands on it. It's gonna be a full timeout. 61-46 your score. Lions trailing. We'll be right back.
Deacon Storm back here with some NJCAA basketball action on a cold Saturday afternoon. Lakers got it. Already driving it up. He's, he was uh, outnumbered, but he still he was uh, he was able to provide some defense. Tried to get his hands on it, but he ended up swatting it out of bounds anyway. Still going to stay Lakers ball with your score 61 to 46. Lions trailing here with 9:02 left in the game. Inbound bounce pass right up under the rim. Doesn't go in, but he's going to go to the line. That is Heavington going back once again. Foul is called on Jackson Henry. Up. And got a little help with that one. So far, four from six, four for six from the line. Ooh, probably gonna have to hold that one back. Uh, Lane violation done up. Yep, but they uh, stepped forward into the into the paint during the shot or right before the shot, so they're gonna redo it because of that lane violation. It's up. There it is. Yep, five for seven from the line tonight. Jordan Foster making his way down with 8.52 left here in the first half. I'm sorry, in the game. Jackson Henry trying to get past his opponent. And they are calling that one a charge. Nyrek Wheeler, he, uh, he, he took that charge and may have oversold it a little bit. But it worked, and the Lakers are going to take the ball. Wheeler on the inbound. Passes to Washington, but Washington giving back to Wheeler. Back to Washington. Washington being guarded by Henry. Passing it over to Heathington. Oh, my goodness. What a quick pass right up underneath. But the Lions almost got their hands on it. They don't. And that's going to be Anthony Crosby for two. 65 46 to score. Foster go, tried to go up underneath. He got underneath, but the pass was off. And lay in. Rob Smith. And timeout call once again by the Lions. As uh, Coach Young is going to see if he can figure out a strategy here. Because his team is down 21 points. 67-46 is your score. 109 uh, left here in the timeout. So we're going to take a break uh, because of this full timeout. I'm Deacon, Deacon Storm. We'll be right back. All right, Deacon Storm back here. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left in the final game of the season for the CCBC Dundalk Lions. Baseball starting tomorrow, however. Uh, right at noon is going to be first pitch. Bergen coming in for the doubleheader. And it looks like they're... Okay, coming out of the timeout. All right. Foster passing it over to Mayo. Back to Foster. Foster deciding to drive into the paint anyway. Gets around the opposition and is able to get another two points in. 
48-67 your score, 19 points separating the two teams with 750 left here in the game. Quick pass on the inside. Able to get in, tipped in by Nathaniel Washington as he gets his first points of the day. Jordan Foster trying to run traffic here. Fourteen on the shot clock. Passes over to Henry, who goes for three. Doesn't get it. Hits the back of the rim. Bounces high in the air and into the hands of Anthony Crosby for the rebound. Lakers on their way back over here. With the fake out. Wheeler with the fake he's been doing all game. That's going to stay over here, though, as after it was taken out of his hands and rolls out of bounds. No foul call, just the ball running out of bounds, so they're going to get the inbound pass started. Lions with 10 fouls over the Lakers having three this half. And Jackson Henry is going to be credited with the steal after Wheeler loses control of it. Henry trying to get his uh, footing there. Like I said, this floor is very slippery. It's not hardwood. Foster. Passes it back for three. Hawkins gets it in. That's his second three-pointer of the day. Henry trying to catch up the Wheeler, and he does. And Hawkins has him guarded. Wheeler coming the other way. And not able to get that in, but that's going to be a call. We'll see if they're going to the line, which they are. Foster called on. The contact underneath during the shot. And that's going to send uh, that's going to send Anthony Crosby to the line for his third time. 6.32 left here in the game. Time fleeting away for the Dundalk Lions here in their final game of the season. Anthony Crosby up and in. Anthony Crosby makes the first one more and he's got one more to go. He has three for five from the free throw line. What's up? And he puts that one in. 20 points separates the two teams. 71-51 your score. Lakers well in the bonus. Lions got some got a couple more fouls to get there. Arnold. Over to Henry. Henry starts to drive in. He does right to the rim, and that's going to be a foul called. He's going in for the end one. Jackson Henry really putting in a lot of work here in the uh, in the second half. He only had, uh, and he got it. Got a quick 30-second timeout. Jackson Henry, as I was saying, he uh, he's really starting to find his game here in the second half. First half, he only had five points. And uh, here in the second half, he was able to score about 13 points here. Excuse me, 14 points. He scored 14 points this half. So Jackson Henry really trying to get his uh, team to stay in the game. He is still not the leading scorer, though. Jordan Foster still has that, uh, that distinction here in his final game with CCBC. Uh, unofficially 21 points for Jordan Foster. He's been all over the place. He hasn't been making as much noise in this has half as he did in the first half, but he is trying his best. But for those out there, YouTube land, don't forget to leave your comments. I see you out there, Soccer Mom. I see you out there. Thanks for leaving the comments, and thanks for hanging out with us, everyone that's in the, uh, in the chat. All right, 613 is left. Wheeler trying to drive forward. He's got double teamed. Over to Mitchum. And on oh, the pass, loses it, but loses it again. They're fighting over it. Hawkins got it. And he passes it back to Mayo. Mayo standing, has the ball in his hands. But lost it again off the bounce pass. And underneath for two. Heathington. Another two points. 
5.43 left here on the clock. 19 points between the two teams. Jackson Henry stepped out of bounds, got a little too close to the blue. And here we go. Inbound pass. Mitchum gets his hands on it. Swing pass in. Looking for an outlet is Heathington. Back to Mitchum. Mitchum underneath. Tried to throw it at the rim. Did not get it. Thought maybe like an alley-oop or something. But Arnold underneath. Oh, after the bump. But they had lost uh, control of the ball right back into the hands of the Lakers. Mitchum. Has had a little uh, trouble there on the line. But the Lakers still able to swing it around. Underneath to Wheeler and underneath. Tried for the jam, didn't get it. But was called on the foul, Miko Arnold, as he tried to stop him. And that's going to send Heathington to the line. He's a six foot five freshman guard out of Snellville, Georgia, by way of South Gwinnett High School. He's been to the line several times today. Right now, five of eight from the free throw line. And gets it in. Six of nine. Arnold got his hands on it. 458 left here in the game. 20 points separating the two teams. This is the final basketball game of the season for the CCBC Dundalk Lions. Arnold starting to drive around. Had a little opposition there as the uh, Lakers are playing zone, and they're just going to throw it up, and Henry's just going to put it in. Adding three more points to his score today. Jackson Henry putting on the clinic. Tipped it. Mayo's got it. Passes underneath to Henry. He's going to take it up against Wheeler. Goes in for two. Fans are calling for the foul here. Doesn't get it. Mitchum taking the ball on the other end. 59-74 is your score. The Lions can keep up this momentum. They can really make some magic happen here in the next four minutes. Mitchum's got it. Wheeler. Underneath pass. Goes in for Crosby. Miko making his way back down. Taking point. Looking for an outlet. Ball was tipped by Wheeler, but Henry got his hands on it. Wheeler up against Mitchell. Back out to Arnold. Wheeler goes for the jump, catches Arnold on the way down. So there is going to be a uh, foul called. Lions, however, not in the bonus. So that's just going to be an inbound pass. That's going to be taken out by Hawkins. Hawkins to Arnold, Arnold to Bethea. Bethea's been a little quiet today, but he gets up for the uh, hook shot, hits the back of the rim. Bethea only with two points today. I'm sorry, four points. Wheeler got it between the circles, 3.30 left here on the game clock. Spins around, gets away from Mayo. Crosby met up with uh, triple coverage there underneath the rim. And Arnold passing it over to Hawkins. Hawkins. A little bit of a shimmy shake there. Does not get the ball to go. Let's see who the foul's on. Yep, that's going to send Hawkins to the line. Hawkins, uh, it's first time in the line today. Here with 313 left in the game. And the Lions haven't seen too much of the free throw line, only having Jackson Henry and Jordan Foster visit. And uh, Xavier Mayo. So now it's Hawkins' turn, and doesn't make it. Hawkins uh, taking a step back from the line, seeing if he can get himself together to make this second one. Yeah, every point counts at this point for the Lions. Gets it. Didn't even touch the run. Mitchum's got it on the way down after the long pass. Bounce pass underneath once again to Crosby, and it somehow goes in. And the foul is called, sending Crosby 
to the line to complete the three-point play. And that's been the luck of the Lions so far today. It looked like a ball that had no chance so far whatsoever going in, and it does. Crosby completing the three-point play, putting the Lions further and further into a bad situation. 19 points separates the two teams, 254 left. Henry to Arnold for three, it does not go in. Lakers able to get that rebound. Wheeler making his way down. Mayo with the opposition. Wheeler blows right past Mayo. Slipped on the floor a little bit. Once again, it's not hardwood, so it's a little slippery. Mitchum back to Heathington. Crosby out to Wheeler. Heathington under the rim, but Wheeler's going to take it his way. A little stutter step, and it works for him. He gets on the board. Wheeler's presence alone has been an issue for the Lions, even though he's uh, he does have double-digit points. Going for the three ball like it's nothing. Tyler Hawkins uh, nailing that three, trying to get his team closer, but that clock winding down. Wheeler spins around, gets around him again, tries to go for the slam, just bounces out. A little bit too much on it, I guess. Mayo making his way down, trying to get to the rim, passing it back. All the way over to Henry. Henry drives up, steps back, gets called in the push off, but he doesn't make that basket, and unfortunately, it doesn't count. A little too much of a, of a, of a shove off there. All right, Mitchum. Letting that clock run a little bit, 23 on the shot clock. Passing it over to Smith. Underneath, back to Smith as he puts in another two. Miko Arnold driving up forward. Passing it back over. Three point up and in. Tyler Hawkins for three. 66-83, your score. Lions inching closer, but with 105 left. Seems it could be out of reach, but they're going to give it their all. Lakers going to hold on to it. Wheeler blows past, which he's been really good at all night tonight. He's freeing himself from contact. Mitchum holding on to it. We're under a minute. Connor Jenkins. <laughs> Coming off the bench, putting two points in with under a minute left at the end of the game. Haven't seen him at all, really. 66-85, your score. Shot clock still on Arnold, going for three, and he gets it. Three point, number two, Miko Arnold. And that is Miko Arnold's first points of the game. 25 seconds left here. As Wheeler goes all the way up and in for two. It looks like the uh, Lions are going to, oh, well, he, <laughs> Arnold again for three. They're fighting for the ball. No one's stopping. They don't care how much time is left or what the score is. They ain't stopping. 9.1 seconds left on the clock. 69-87 is your score here in the final game of the season for the Lions. Back out there for three. Almost like it's about to go in. Five seconds left. And the rebound grabbed by uh, Connor Jenkins. And he's going to let the clock run out. 69-87 is your final. As the Lions drop seven straight to close out the ending of the season. Is this mine or move over or come over here? Oh, am I saying stuff? <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. But all right, closing out the game, 69-87 is your score. Am I still in the frame? Am I still in the frame? Okay, 69-87 is your score. We're going to close the uh, game out and the season out. Um, and the Lions gave it their all. Unfortunately, they are finishing 7-21 and here in the season. But tomorrow, Bergen.
Bergen is how you pronounce it. Okay, Bergen, doubleheader. They're going to be here for the first game of the baseball season as it's going to be a doubleheader, like I said, starting at first pitch, 12 o'clock. Yeah, okay. First pitch, 12 o'clock. And 2.30 is going to be the second game. Sometimes the second game starts at weird times because, you know, this, the first game may run long. But we are going to be here, and we're going to be bringing you that action. So make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and click that little bell, the little bell, excuse me, right next to the subscribe button so you can get the alert of when we go live from now on to the end of time. So thank you again for joining us here for the basketball season. We love you. Ah, thank you so much. And we will be here tomorrow for baseball. And that concludes the basketball season. Good night, everybody. And if you're not home, get home safe.